Hi, this is Ellen from the Chili Dog, and I finally got my hands on a couple sets of the new Addy Flexi Flip knitting needles, so I thought I'd take a few minutes to share my thoughts and demonstrate how these needles are used. Each set comes with three needles that are similar to double pointed needles, but instead they have this short flexible cord at the center of the needle. And these needles were especially designed for knitting small projects like socks that are worked in the round. If you look closely at the tips of the needles, whoop, one end of the tip is more blunt and rounded and the other tip has a sharper and more tapered point. And personally, I like the sharper, more tapered point to work with, but you can decide what works best for you. So we've been talking about these needles at the local yarn shop I visit regularly because they look like they combine the best qualities of knitting socks on DPNs and on Magic Loop. If you prefer DPNs, the flexi flips are nice and compact and you don't get that extra cord to get in your way like you do with the butterfly wings when you're working Magic Loop. If you prefer Magic Loop, the nice thing about the flexi flips is that your stitches are divided similarly to the way you do it on Magic Loop with half of your stitches on one needle and half of your stitches on the other. So you don't have as many needle changes as with DPNs. This also makes it easier to store your projects when they're not in use and you don't have to worry about accidentally pushing a DPN through and dropping all your stitches off. So here's the first pair of socks that I knit on the Flexi Flip. And it took me a few rounds to get comfortable with working with the needles because they are a little bit different. But overall, I'm quite pleased with the way my socks turned out. My biggest concern when I was trying the Flexi Flips was that would, there would be laddering between the needles when I was switching from working the bottom of the sock and the top of the sock. And that really wasn't the case. And I didn't feel like I had to do anything special with my tension when I switched needles. There's one side and there's the other. And you can see there's not really any laddering there. So let me grab the socks that I'm working on right now and I'll show you how to use the Flexi Flips. So I'm working on a pair of Azalea socks right now and they're on my Flexi Flips. And you can see that half of my sock stitches, the half at the bottom of the foot are on one needle. And then the half of the stitches that run across the top of the foot are on another needle. And then you actively knit with the third flexi flip needle. So to get ready to knit, you slide your stitches down on the needle that you are ready to work on. And this back needle, you'll notice, automatically kind of bends up because of the flexible cord at the center of it. And you want to rest that back needle in between the crook of your fingers, your thumb and your index finger on your left hand and the thumb and index finger on your right hand. And you'll notice as you work across the row that at the beginning of the row, the back needle will be more on your left hand. And then by the end of the row, it's balanced more on your right hand. So you take the third needle and then just knit across. And again, I really don't feel like I had to do anything special and pull my yarn tighter or looser or anything as I was switching needles from that back needle to the front needle. And of course, this is just one way you could hold your needles. I am sure that there are many others and I've even seen some others demonstrated by other knitters. So you just really have to find what works best for you and what is most comfortable. And the nice thing about the Flexi Flips is that they can be used by English style knitters like me or knitters who prefer to knit continental or I actually have even tried doing this Portuguese style and it still works quite nicely. So, and as you can see here, I've kind of reached the point that it's read, the back needle is resting more on my right hand now than my left. And we'll flip over just to show you that you can also do this continental style. And it works just as nicely. 
although I am just a little bit slower knitting that way. But how you position the needles so that that back one is resting on the crook between your thumb and index finger is exactly the same. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about the new Addy Flexi Flip needles. And if you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Until next time, happy knitting!